Hello, my name is Robbie, Community Manager on Outriders. Welcome to an extra special showcase where we will take a closer look at the myriad of ways to build out your character. We call this explosive pyromancer build the Fire Witch. The Fire Witch is a build that relies heavily on the skill usage in order to maximize its damage. When using the skills Overheat, Phaser Beam, and Eruption. And our chosen gear and mods do just that. To begin with, we are using four gear pieces from the Pyromancer's Lava Lich Legendary set and one gear piece from the Reforged Legendary set. The Reforged gear item will help us with our skill damage output. In our riders, set bonuses already activate when you've equipped three pieces of a set. So our build will be able to benefit from the Lava Lich's set bonus, increase damage and reduce cooldown of the eruption skill. Many of the mods on our gear directly increase the damage output or reduce the cooldown of one of our three chosen skills. However, of special importance are the following. Our chest armor mod Giga Blast increases the skill radius of eruption by 100% and our leg armor mod Size Matters increases the phaser beam's radius by 100%. Our glove and foot gear armor mods Etna and Pompeii each mean that we can trigger the eruption skill one extra time before it goes on to cooldown. While these mods may have the same effect, they are separate mods in order to allow their effects to be stacked. Finally, we have changed the variant of our weapon Inferno's Seed to a variant that maximizes the benefits from critical hits. We then combine this with a couple mods on it that will trigger whenever you land a critical shot. Of particular importance here will be the Wrath of Moloch mod which will deal additional damage but also inflicts the burn status onto enemies within a certain radius. Put this all together and you will have a partial fire which build. The other part of the magic happens in the skill tree. Let's have a look. We will want to focus on increasing our anomaly power and reducing our cooldowns, which we can best achieve by following along the Tempest branch of the Pyromancer class. Overheat and Eruption are explosive based skills, while Phaser Beam is an ignite based skill. So activating the nodes that increase damage and lower cooldowns for these keyword skills is very important. The Wildfire node, which grants a 10% cooldown reduction, will additionally be very important to this build. There are a few more nodes here that increase our damage to marked enemies as well as increase our ability to pierce enemies' resistances. The Graver Blaze node will grant us a 30% damage boost after using an explosive skill like Overheat, which will be key to our particular playstyle and how we weave skills together. The Fire Witch build relies heavily on the proper sequencing of skills. Using certain skills that currently benefit from our chosen nodes and mods will enable follow-up skills to be more effective. At 6 seconds, Overheat has the shortest cooldown of our skills, so we will start with that, especially as it will maximize our build's efficiency. Now let's see in action. Using Overheat will provide us with a Anomaly Power boost, but it will additionally damage all enemies in the area and mark them. Marked enemies take additional damage and will be able to see their nameplates even when they are hidden behind level geometry. Think of Overheat as a sonar of sorts. Seeing enemy nameplates makes aiming our phaser beam that much easier. Phaser deals a ton of damage but it will also apply the burn status to enemies. Now we just throw in two of our eruption skills into the mix and watch the body parts rain upon us. A quick use of our refreshed Overheat skill will ensure that enemies continue to suffer from our debuffs. Using Eruption for the third time will trigger its cooldown, meaning that we now have to switch back and forth between Phaser and Overheat until Eruption is available again. Our Inferno Seed weapon will additionally inflict burn onto enemies, which our Overheat skill can take great advantage of. We can then use our guns to pick off individual enemies until our skill combos are ready to be used again. The key to this build will rely on your ability to hit as many enemies as possible with each Phaser Beam and Eruption. To do so, you will need to keep on the move to ensure you can always line up as many enemies as possible. And for the moments in between all that, your Inferno Seed can deal plenty of damage. In short, the skill sequence for the Fire Witch is as follows. Overheat, Phaser, Eruption, Eruption, Overheat, Eruption, Phaser, Overheat. So that is the Fire Witch build. 
Note that this is simply an example build that some of our team like to play with. It's just one of four classes, each of which has access to eight skills and thousands of mod combinations. You can, of course, create your own builds and modifications in order to personalize your Outriders experience, and we look forward to seeing what you come up with.